Hey everybody, this is Nick Zentner. I'm doing some organizing. Found these old clips, thought I'd share them with you. These are some of the animations that were created for our Dry Falls episode of Nick on the Rocks. Maybe you've seen the show on PBS TV here in the Pacific Northwest. These were created by a fella named Donald and Ray down in Portland at Newlands and Associates and they did a wonderful job. These are some of the original um, clips that were put together mostly by Ray uh, with the concept by Chris Smart here at Central Washington University. So the concept was can we give you some drone footage from Dry Falls uh, and animators in Portland can you add the water, uh, Ice Age flood water Missoula flood water, one of the dozens of floods coming down the Grand Coulee. And so here's the early version. Apparently water is incredibly difficult to animate. What do I know? I'm a geology guy. Uh, but uh, it took a lot of effort, a lot of time uh, to create the water, to create the dirty brown water, to create the complex interaction between lots of water in the landscape. So here's some actual drone footage where Chris Smart and Rick Spencer from Central went up to the parking lot of Dry Falls and just lifted the drone up above the parking lot uh, and that was the base visual that was then given to Donald and Ray down in Portland and they took that and <laughs> here we go so there's the same drone footage, but now with the magic of the animators putting in one of the floods coming over Dry Falls. And I've gotten many of comments about how impressive this is and way more water than I ever imagined, and that's all true. I've also heard some criticism, like, I think you guys have exaggerated with this. I don't think it was that big. Well, if anything, we were conservative here. I've also heard some criticism like, well, are you saying that Dry Falls was there before the Ice Age flood came down? And people that know the story know that this is a series of floods, and each major flood changes the position of the waterfall rim, because the water itself is so erosive, it basically tears out the cliff. But that's too complicated for the purpose of this animation. And this was Chris's idea to put an RV in there. That's a real RV driving down the road. And then here's the imaginary water coming in. Audiences seem to like it. So with all this put together, Nick on the rocks. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Dry Falls in eastern Washington. Have you been here before? This place is a desert. And yet it's the premier spot to learn about the Ice Age floods, the Missoula floods that came across eastern Washington. 15,000 years ago, there was a waterfall here, but not like the waterfall that you have in your mind, perhaps. Here on the lip of Dry Falls, there was more than 350 feet of water moving 65 miles an hour over this cliff. This is water from a bursting ice dam 170 miles away in Idaho that ripped through central Washington. A wall of water that dwarfed the local landscape with the energy of 10 times the power of all the world's rivers combined. An ice age flood with water, rock, soil, and icebergs three and a half miles wide on a thundering journey to the Pacific Ocean. 